My name is Maeve Whelan. I'm a specialist chartered physiotherapist working in women's health and continence. Women who come to me post childbirth typically present with bladder weakness, bowel weakness, low back pain, pelvic girdle pain, and they're really dying to get back to sports and exercise and get their lives back on track. One of the most important things when you return to sport is that you have a reasonably strong core. Now, your core is your spine, your pelvis, down to your hips, and the muscles that support are your abdominal muscles, your lumbar spine, your pelvic floor at the bottom, and your diaphragm at the top. So, if you don't have a strong core, your pelvic floor muscles are going to have to work very hard to compensate for that. If they do, that's where the trouble can start and you can start to develop symptoms. The symptoms are, um, and it can be a bit embarrassing, they can be leakage or they can be just that feeling that your pelvic organs are just down a little bit lower and that you really need much more support. We have seen clinically that the force and direction is very important in pelvic position and we have experienced with patients that they continue to experience this when they are out on the road running. Women come in to me all the time and they're concerned that if they're wearing their EVBs that their muscles will become reliant and therefore will become weaker. I say to them, reassuring them, that this isn't the case because what happens is the EVBs are supporting their perineum, lifting their organs and stopping them from bracing in response to their symptoms of weakness or leakage and therefore protecting their pelvic floors. So my advice to anyone would be, and regardless of whether somebody has no symptoms at all or has a weak pelvic floor, is to wear the EVBs in supporting the pelvic floor because prevention is far better than cure in my profession.